everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the front loop and back loop single crochet stitch which creates a very subtle texture. The texture is all on the one side so this is your back and this is your front and it's an easy crochet stitch to work that creates a solid fabric. So today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a 5 millimeter crochet hook along with some Pima Cotton by Lion Brand Yarn. It's a 100% cotton and you'll find the links to both of these items in the description of the video. Also in the description of the video you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me. I'd love to hear how you would use this stitch in a project. You can let me know down in the comments below. And while you're here, I invite you to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Thank you. Our tutorial today is worked in rows. So we'll start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and your foundation chain can be any multiple of stitches plus one. So I'm just going to go ahead, crochet a little swatch here. Again, multiples don't matter. And then chain one extra for the foundation chain. You're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each chain stitch all the way across. I like to work into the back bumps of my chains uh, simply because I like the way it looks on the opposite side but it's really personal preference. Uh, you're welcome for this row to work in any of the bumps you choose. At the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're going to begin by working a front loop single crochet into the first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. To work the front loop single crochet, looking at the top of your stitches, you have this nice little V that you would normally work under and you have your back loop which is the furthest away from you and your front loop which is the one here closest to you. So to work your front loop single crochet you're going to insert your hook under that front loop only and then work the single crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. When I'm working under that front loop, I'm bringing my hook down just under it and then inserting it upward under that front loop only. So work one front loop single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. When you look at the front of your work, you're going to see this little bar going across the front, uh, which were the loops that you did not work into. So there's your first little delicate stripe of texture. We're then going to work row three by working a back loop single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So to work your single crochet in the back loop only, you're going to insert your hook under that horizontal bar or that loop that is furthest away from you and work your single crochet stitch. So a single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across to work row three.
at the end of row three, chain one, and turn your work. And that's it as far as the repeat for this pattern. So for, from now on, you're going to work a back, uh, sorry, a front loop single crochet stitch or a single crochet in the front loop all the way across. Repeat your row two and then followed by a row three, which was a single crochet in the back loop only all the way across. Chain one, turn your work and repeat. Once you're done, you can fasten off weave in your ends and that's all there is to working this easy front and back loop stitch. So thank you so much for joining me once again. I invite you su to subscribe, take a look around. There's lots of other crochet stitch tutorials here on this channel. Enjoy and happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.